A world away from his home in the north of England, former tough winner Ross Pearson now calls Australia home. After settling on the New South Wales Central Coast, Pearson linked up with local lightweight standout Jamie Malarkey, and he began coaching the young Aussie. Together, the unlikely couple formed an inseparable bond, and under Ross's guidance, Jamie made it all the way to the UFC, where he is now a mainstay in the lightweight division. We hear more about their journey as we head down under for Unbreakable. Jamie Malarkey has become a staple among the most exciting lightweights in the game. And of course, Malarkey coached by Ross Pearson, the winner of season nine of The Ultimate Fighter. A great man for Jamie Malarkey to have in the corner and guide him through this career. Oh, I definitely wouldn't be where I am today without meeting Ross. Yeah, beautiful. I think myself in the UFC, that's his legacy sort of carrying on. We're still working, we're still climbing that ladder and can't wait to see where we go. I'm the first fighter to make it to the UFC from the Central Coast, so it's, it's pretty cool. I got into fighting when I was 14 years old. I was always into sports. I was playing footy and I wanted to keep fit in the off season. I never really was like a standout in sports. But when I uh, found mixed martial arts, I was just pretty good at it. One day, I was watching The Ultimate Fighter. I was a big fan of Ross Pearson. I always liked his style, even his attitude that you could see, those small parts of his personality in the show. I want to hurt him. I want to hit him with everything I've got. When I was on The Ultimate Fighter, I just felt like I was the number one guy. I would fight anyone. I just knew I was going to win. That was it. Ross, the real deal. Pearson has been in the UFC for quite a long time now and has fought some excellent fighters inside the octagon. I looked at Ross and I was like, man, I, I can do this. This is something that I really think I'm going to pursue. When I first turned pro, I was 19. I was just a young, hungry kid, man. Like, just wanted to get in there and fight anyone and everyone. It went really well for me for the most part of my pro career on the Australian scene. Yes! Jamie Malaki! After all my fighter, I met my wife in Sydney. I did my camp in Alliance in San Diego and she came out with us. And it wasn't until we had kids that we decided to move to Australia. I decided to open a gym here on the coast to keep me involved after my career in the sport. I wanted to be involved in the fighting. I'm not a gym owner for like CrossFit guys and keeping fit guys. <laughs> I, I want the meanest, toughest guys we can find. At the time, I fought under Magnus Martial Arts for a bit over 10 years. Noah Magnus was my main coach. We fought in tournaments around the world, traveled overseas together, and then he moved up north a couple of hours away. So now I didn't have a coach. I walked into the gym and just saw Ross Pearson. And I was like, what, what the f That's Ross Pearson. I was just so keen to train with him. When I first met Jamie, Jamie was in like a pivotal point in his young career. I could give him the things that he didn't have. I could take him to the next level. That was the biggest thing his old coach couldn't do to what I could. I went 9-0. I thought I was invincible. I was just young and just couldn't be stopped in my head, you know? The first losses I had in my career were the hardest, especially going on a pretty hot streak. Alex Volkanovski in the green trunks taking on Jamie Malaki. Buzz. Oh! Over! Over! Having to deal with those emotions, the self-doubt that crept in that I never had before. He lost to top-level guys. I think it, like, frustrated him. He doubted himself and questioned himself. He was just going to pack it in. And I told him right out, I was like, you're fighting in the wrong weight group. He was fighting at 145. 
He was cutting too much weight. Fighting at 50% against these good guys, you're beating yourself before you even get in. I'm not saying like I saved his career or anything like that, but like him hearing that from me, kind of like lit the spark under his ass again. I still wanted to do featherweight. I was like, oh, you know, I don't know if I should fight lightweight, the bigger, the this, the that, and he went, nah, your featherweight days are done. Ross pushed me on. And it took a little bit of time before jumping back in. My first fight back was about after a year layoff. I felt great. Healthier, bigger, stronger fighter. It was just lightweight from here on in. Once you get back in that wing column, it's just a massive relief, you know, and it sort of proves that it really does make you stronger. and You learn more from your losses than any of your wins. It makes you a better fighter, better man, better everything. We never even had the conversation about, do you even want to fight in the UFC? I kind of like just knew. Why else would he be here? Why else would he be training the way he is? I got a call from Ross. He basically just said, I'm gonna step up into the big leagues and I was just like in shock. I'm getting tingles talking about it now. Looking in on it, I was scared. I've only been coaching three years. I don't feel like I'm a good coach yet. Is this kid really ready for what it takes? How he was going to perform under the lights and cameras? The UFC debut was in Melbourne. Central Coast MMA is on the UFC map, courtesy of one Jamie Malarkey. Walking out there was like electric, man. The size of the arena. There was, I think, 58,000 in the attendance. It was a crazy back and forth war. Sure, these boys are swinging. I'm telling you, man. Next level toughness from Malarkey. This was a fight everybody was talking about here all week. And man, did it deliver. The winner by unanimous decision, Brad Riddell. Losing my debut sucked. It was never how I imagined it. But last that he's had in the UFC, he's bounced straight back. And he's mature enough now to not let the losses get so big that it blows you out and you don't want to do it again. He corrected a lot of things. His focus, his determination. He like really honed in on that. He become a better athlete. Ross definitely improved my confidence as a fighter. Having that confidence helped me a lot. Going into fight, your mindset is so important. Malarkey will try to produce on a big stage tonight. He's banging hard, he's punching hard now. He's kicking hard, he's stronger. Oh! oh Marley Lamb from oh, Malarkey! That's it, that's it. Jamie Malarkey, wow. live and in color! Jamie, he's got that will, grit, determination. He can do anything he wants. Yes! If he wants to really hurt you. Yeah. Oh my goodness! He'll do good. We're talking about Malarkey being the future coming into the sport. He's faced the best of the best. He's training with Ross Pearson. He's leveled up in each one of these fights. It's like when you get put in the ocean, you're going to sink or swim. You just swim. Beautiful takedown, good timing. And this is what Ross Pearson was talking about, levels to this game. Nice left hook and a smile from Jamie. And all indications are that Malarkey is going to prevail. We're just aiming to climb to the top of the ladder. Where Jamie is right now, he's coming into his prime. He stayed in. He took his ass kickings, he took his beatings. I see the hooligan that I was in him. Maybe I am a good coach. I think that he's gonna have a good coaching career. Hopefully he inspires and brings through another whole crop of young guys to take on this journey. The future holds some exciting things, man. I see myself really taking it as far as I can. He's the nicest kid in the world. I want to see him live his career. I want to see him become a world champion. Lightweight's got another player from Australia.